Hello, this is Tom from Vino 100 with your video wine tip. Tonight I wanted to speak about some dessert wines. Dessert wines often get overlooked when making wine choices, but they're really a great complement to dessert or to have as dessert. And tonight I wanted to speak about some basic styles of dessert wine that I have here in the shop. First one I wanted to speak about is an ice wine. And just to begin with, a definition of an ice wine is a wine that's created by harvesting the grapes during a freeze, then pressing the grapes, leaving the ice crystals behind. You get a nice core juice that's perfect for making dessert wine, very concentrated, very sweet. And uh, this wine that I have here is an ice wine from the Niagara on the Lake region of Canada, which is famous for its ice wine production. This wine is from the uh, Wayne Gretzky's estate, uh, the famous hockey player, and it's named after his jersey number, which is uh, number 99. It's a really beautiful dessert wine. It's very concentrated, very high quality, and it's inexpensive for an ice wine. It's $43. Often wines of this size can be north of $80 a bottle. It's a great representation of a good ice wine from the Niagara on the Lake region of, of Canada, and you should definitely give it a try, if you, especially if you haven't had a good ice wine. Next, I wanted to speak about a wine from the Mombasiac region of, of France. It's made in the Sauternes style. Um, a Sauternes style means the grapes are harvested and pressed after they get attacked by a, a bacteria called Boitritis. Um, the water gets removed from the grape and it kind of shrivels up, but there's a real concentrated juice within that grape. You press it, you create a dessert wine, and it has a real honeyed quality to it. It's really delicious, very complex, and very age-worthy. You you, these will last a long time. This is from an estate called Chateau Verri. It's a Mombasiac. Uh, just like Sauternes, it's created in the same way. Sauternes the region within Bordeaux, France. This is the neighboring region to Sauternes. And it's very much like a Sauternes, uh, and it's a lot less expensive. This is $17 a bottle, and definitely worth trying. Next, I wanted to speak about a dessert wine from Australia, but the grape varietal uh, is famous from Hungary, and the, the grape varietal is called Tokai. Uh, Hungarian Tokai is a very complex and delicious wine. This is a really nice one from Australia. This is from an estate called R.L. Bueller. It's a dessert Tokai. It's a highly rated wine. It got 93 points in the Wine Spectator, and it's a great value for what it is. It's inexpensive for what it is, $16 a bottle, and it's a real nice, beautiful, nutty wine and a uh, very long finish, very complex, and definitely worth a try. Lastly, I want to speak about a wine that's famous for its chocolate pairing, and it's a sparkler, it's a sparkler from northern Italy, and it's called the Sparkling Dolce. This is from an estate called Tosti, and the name of the wine is Brocato. This is $19 a bottle. It's, it's a sparkler. It's very well balanced. It's got nice sweetness to it. It's got nice hints of raspberry on the finish, and it just really marries well with chocolates. This one actually is a good deal. It's $19 a bottle, but there's a special on this one. If you buy two bottles, there's a mail-in rebate. You save $15. So it's, uh, if you buy one for $19, it's almost like getting the next bottle, or it is like getting the next bottle for $4. So in any event, that's my discussion on dessert wines. I hope you have a great week. Come down. We'll be having tastings all weekend here in the store, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.